Hi guys, Kev from Kevlar Gaming here. You may notice that my PC doesn't look like it usually does. I've taken my graphics card out and I've got a little GTX 1060 in there. The reason being is my PC started just shutting down on its own. It would occasionally let me start it back up again or it would restart itself. But then after a few shutdowns, the power button's being completely unresponsive. So I've already had a play around and I've diagnosed it. So I thought I'd do a video of what to do in these sort of cases, what to look at when your PC starts shutting down and you're having trouble with powering on. So I'll take you through what I've done, what I found out and what my issue is. I've kind of set it back up to how it was so I can probably, hopefully, show you it shutting itself down before we go through the steps. So we'll try and power it on now, see what happens. Um, if it doesn't power on at all, then okay, we'll carry on. If it powers on, hopefully it will shut itself down so you can see it happening and I'll talk you through uh, the steps that I've gone through to work out what the issue is. Right, okay, so here we are. So you can see, so I've switched my power supply back on at the back and you'll see there is power coming from it because you can see the RGB lighting on the motherboard there. So there's power coming from the power supply. So I'd say it's not completely dead. It's not giving any power. Let's power it up, see what happens. Okay, there you go. So I'm trying to switch it on. Absolutely nothing is happening. Now, this, when this first started happening a couple of days ago, and it would power on, power off, then after a while this happened and I couldn't do anything with it. Then this morning, when I came to have a look at it again, I thought I'd give it another go, and the power on did work, so it powered up again, but then shut itself down. So it might take, yeah, another day or so of leaving it alone before it's ready to be powered on again. So anyway, we're not going to be able to show that then, but what, what we can show is what I looked at to work out what the problem is. I mean, first things first, do look at my other video. Like There was two very basic reasons. Now, this is not it, because that was two very basic reasons on why a PC might not power up. Um, and that was based on you getting a new PC that you know works, but for some reason you just can't get it to turn on. Very basic reasons. So I talked about things in there which could be is this power switch loose which is the link to the button which is why the button's not working and things like that so we know it's not that because this pc was was working before and i know it's a component that's causing a problem here so look at that video first if, if you want to check out those topics so secondly a key reason why your pc could shut itself down is overheating so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug it all into a different power supply because i know that it's the power supply issue but i'll get it all plugged in and i'll show you what i would have looked at or what i did look at first before deciding it's a power supply issue so bear with i'll just get it all hooked up right okay sorry this is me being lazy i'm actually videoing the screen rather than actually capturing my screen here because it's just a quick one basically first thing to do i'd say if your pc is shutting itself down is it could be overheating so double check that so plenty of different softwares you can get this one here is the um, core temp it's going to be quite small on the screen let's just zoom into that a little bit there you go so you want to check the cpu temperatures on there i've seen run a program so what i kept doing i was running heaven benchmark so just a benchmarking program and checking my cpu temperatures and it was while running heaven benchmark or starting up, up a game was when my pc started to crash or shut itself down so first i thought oh okay so when you start running the game that's when you start you know getting a bit of heat on the cpu if it starts to overheat too much then yes it will shut itself down see to save your components it's got that built into it to make sure it fits over a certain heat but you'll see here i'm idling at 29 degrees at the moment max 43 and i think when i was running my heaven benchmarks i wasn't hitting any more than 60 65 really so it's definitely not my calling and it shouldn't be anyway because i've only recently really not too long ago upgraded to um, some water cooling yeah it's been fine since i've put that in okay so really that that was just a quick one to show you check check your temperatures lots of different other softwares to check your temperatures you can use the overlay softwares like msi afterburner so you can get that on your screen while you're actually playing the game or something so for me i was confident it's not my temperatures because i was confident it wasn't my temperatures i couldn't really think what else it was other than being power supply related so first thing i checked was these so i've been using extension cables from my power supply cables to my components you know so i've got nice looking white cables in the case rather than the black ones from the power supply 
So I thought I'd check those first because these obviously aren't as good as using your direct from your power supply cables. So I swapped all of these out and plugged the power supply directly into my components without using those. No change there. But just a note that in the past, that has been an issue that I found before. When I did some upgrades to my PC, something must have gone wrong with my motherboard extension cable because it wasn't working, wasn't powering up. I swapped out my motherboard extension cable and plugged it directly in and then it was fine. So that's why I thought, let's check those first. But no, no issue there. So really for me then, I'm adamant it's just an actual issue of the power supply. Even though it's drawing power, there's something wrong. Now, obviously you can check, is your power supply strong enough for your components? There's various websites you can look at. Let's just have a quick look at one now. So basically if you just Google power supply calculator, there's, there's loads you can pick. I think I just picked this one, the outer vision. So you fill in all of your components, everything you've got in here, run calculate and it will tell you what power supply wattage you need. Now in general when you buy a graphics card it will tell you the recommended power supply for that and that recommendation actually takes into account an assumed power supply need of the rest of your system so it's not just the graphics card it tells you. So in general you're usually quite good with that. So I have got an 850 watt power supply when I did the calculation on here, it came up with like 660 and the graphics card manufacturer recommendation was 850. So I'm pretty confident my power supply is powerful enough. Now, to be honest, I don't really know what would happen if it wasn't powerful enough. Now, obviously I've been running this system since June with that power supply and it's now November and I've had no problems up until then. Like I said recently, I have swapped out my, my cooling. So I've changed my cooling from a a tower cooler on my CPU to my AIO. Now, I don't think that's gonna be a huge jump in power consumption. Um, and I've also adjusted some of my fan connections. So I did have the standard fan hub that came with this PC, and then a separate RGB hub for some of the fans. I've swapped that out for a commander core from Corsair. So I've now got two commander cores because one comes with the AIO and then I got another one so I could fit the rest of the fans on it. Again, I'm pretty sure that would have made a lot of difference in power consumption. And I've put it all through this calculator anyway. And um, yeah, it still comes up with only 660 odd watts. So I think I'm good for that. So I don't think I've tried to use an underpowered power supply for my system. I don't even know what would happen if you do, to be honest. I don't know whether this is the sort of thing that happens where it just cuts out. but. What I did to test that, okay, is I'm lucky enough to have a few other graphics cards lying around the older graphics cards. So I've got a GTX 1060 there. So I've plugged this GTX 1060 in and swapped out my RTX 3080. So there we go. So we know 100% certain that my 850 watt power supply is gonna be more than enough to run this system with a GTX 1060 in it. So that was a test I could do to make sure that I'm not actually trying to power my PC with a power supply that's not strong enough. Did the test in that, plugged it in, had the same issues, it was shutting down and then won't turn on. So there we go, so we're very confident that it's not actually a power issue is in under wattage. So that's why I've got the GTX 1060 in there, that's why I've swapped that out. What I've now done is I've got a 600 watt power supply here because I'm, unfortunately enough, I don't actually stock some of the more expensive power supplies. So I don't have another 850 watt one or above to test um, with my RTX 3080. So I've plugged in a 600 watt power supply, which is again, more than enough for the GTX 1060. Plugged it all in, got that running and everything's working fine. No shutdowns. I've run on my benchmarking. It goes all the way through, no shutdowns, nothing. So that is how I'm confident it's an issue with my power supply. So yeah, sorry, not much practical showing you what to do in this video, more just talking, because I've done all the work before. But yeah, I thought it'd just be worth sharing as I've had to go through it myself, just share with you a few things you can check to see if it is your power supply that has failed and needs replacing. And there you go, that's what I've done. That's the conclusion I've come to. I've spoken to the company I bought it from and they're sending me a returns label so I can send it to them so that they'll test it before sending a replacement. 
But yeah, fingers crossed that I haven't misjudged anything there and they'll also confirm that it's not working and they'll send me a new one and then we can get back up and running on the full system. But yeah, I hope you found that useful. Please give us a like and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.